So we've had our lemon water, we're hydrated, we've got the digestion going for the morning, and now it is time for my favorite part of the day, which is my morning cup of coffee. I seriously look forward to it every single morning. And today I'm making the Four Sigmatic Mushroom Coffee, the dark roast ground with lion's mane and chaga. And special thanks to Four Sigmatic who is sponsoring this video. You guys know I have loved them for years and I've worked with them now for a couple of years which makes me so happy because I remember like three years ago when I discovered their coffee before it was like mainstream and I just love this brand so much. So the reason I like this one is because it's a nice dark roast so it's nice and full bodied. It doesn't taste like mushrooms. I feel like that's gonna be a common question. It does not taste like mushrooms, it just tastes like a delicious cup of coffee. And the thing about the ground one is that you can use this in like pour over, french press. I've even made cold brew with it and it tastes delicious. Plus, chaga is super good for you. It really helps to support your immune system. It's literally been used for thousands of years. It's full of great compounds for you. Uh, and it's a great way to kind of like start your day with the king of mushrooms basically that's what chaga is um and it's kind of like your bodyguard like especially during this time we all have a lot going on we need like a little support a little bodyguard so we're gonna make a delicious cup of this and i'm gonna show you how i make it in my pour over and right now you guys can get up to 20 percent off plus an additional 15 percent off with my code so that means up to 35 percent off to get yourself some really good coffee with benefits um that's really going to support you during this time so yeah let's go ahead and make some delicious coffee I'm going to enjoy my coffee now. It's definitely like my morning quiet time that I really enjoy. Just like enjoy my nice cup of coffee in the morning. And yeah, I will check in with you guys in a bit. So for breakfast, I am in the mood for a chocolate smoothie. It is so delicious and probably chocolate smoothies are my favorite ones to make. Um, and I love it because like you can easily make a chocolate smoothie that's like fruit free but tastes so good and like decadent. Um, and I love adding raw cacao because it has magnesium which is so good for you. Um, has loaded with antioxidants. We we're gonna add some protein, some fat, and some fiber and it's like the perfect fuel to start the day and kind of tastes like a chocolate milkshake. So we're gonna go ahead and make that now. So our chocolate smoothie is ready. We've got protein, fats, fiber, so delicious. Uh, yeah, I cannot wait to like dig into this. So I'm still a little hungry, so I'm gonna toast just a paleo pancake made with flax um, that I had in the freezer. And what I like to do is just make a big batch and then you can just like pop them in the freezer. And then when you want them, you just toast them like you would a slice of bread. So I'm finished filming and I'm gonna make some lunch. I'm thinking of having like a tuna salad bowl with some roasted sweet potato. So I'm gonna get to work on chopping up the sweet potato, putting that in the oven, and then just having it with some tuna from the pantry and some lettuce. And I think I have some tahini dressing left over that I can drizzle over everything. So that is the plan for lunch. We've got protein, healthy fats, a little bit of starch from the sweet potato, and just like lots of yummy goodness.
little chocolate chip cookie after my lunch because they are freshly baked because we filmed the healthy dessert video this morning which I will leave down below but how can we not like eat a delicious chocolate chip cookie when they are freshly baked so I feel like a fun afternoon drink but it's a bit late to have caffeine so I'm gonna make a chaga chino which is basically like chaga cappuccino um, but it's caffeine free it's just the elixir mix uh, I like it because it's high in vitamin C too so it's good for immune support and chaga has been used for literally thousands of years it's full of polysaccharides and beta glucans and it's just really good for your immune support and I like that it's a good like caffeine free thing that I can have in the afternoon um, plus it's like organic gluten-free vegan all that stuff it does come in the bundle with the mushroom coffee so it's like the perfect like pairing of like having the coffee in the morning and then having this in the afternoon I do drink it hot a lot of the time I just mix it with water and have like it plain it's got a really nice like rich earthy flavor it doesn't taste like like mushrooms that you would get in like the store to use for cooking um, it just has like a really nice earthy flavor but today I thought I would make like an iced chaga chino like froth some milk up and have it like that um, it's gonna be really delicious I've done it before um, and yeah it's yummy. We're gonna make that now. Let's go ahead. Our chaga chino is ready. It's super easy and quick to make. So delicious with the cold froth milk as well. And yeah, so many benefits in it and the great like perfect afternoon little something. So I'm about to make dinner. I'm gonna have some turkey sausage with some masala roasted cauliflower and like a veggie slaw type saute thing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which you definitely should, it's just keep up with Liv. I am obsessed with masala cauliflower. It's so tasty and such a great way to prepare cauliflower. So much flavor and delicious, so we're going to roast some of that. And then it's just easy to like toss in a turkey sausage halfway through the cauliflower to cook that for protein. Um, and then the slaw, I basically take like a veggie slaw that you would normally have as a salad and I saute that um, to cook it down a bit because that makes it a little bit easier to digest. I try not to have like two big salads in a day because it's a lot of raw vegetables. Um, so if I cook it down, it's just a little bit easier to digest. So I saute that up. We're gonna have some slaw, some cauliflower, some turkey sausage, um, tons of flavor, so delicious. Let's go ahead and get working on the cauliflower. So on days I film desserts, I tend to eat more desserts. Uh, this is like a keto vanilla cupcake. Um, there's already like some of it taken out because I was filming and I'm gonna put a little bit of this on it for frosting. I just wanna show you guys like how perfectly cakey it is with the frosting. It is so delicious, not too sweet. The perfect little like mini cupcake-y thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day. I'm going to leave the Four Sigmatic link down below. Thanks again to them for sponsoring this video. And I will leave my last what I ate in a day on the screen here. So you can get lots more healthy recipe inspiration. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.